Okay, this is our Harris Hawk. Her name is Belle. And one of the things that in captivity that we need to do with birds and birds of prey, certainly especially, is that we need to keep their beak the appropriate size and shape so that they can feed properly. In the wild, what they do is they rub their beaks on, on rocks and branches and those kinds of stuff. It's called feeking. And that wears the beak down and helps keep the beak the appropriate shape. But in captivity, they don't seem to do that very well. And so we have to do it ourselves to, to uh, help them out a little bit. Now, most people will take their bird to a veterinarian to do this. And the problem that I have is they will frequently uh, anesthetize the bird, put the bird to sleep before, before doing this. And, to, and that's always a risk. You know, anesthesia is very hard on these birds. And so I would prefer not to, and with just a little bit of help from an assistant, a little bit of practice, uh, we can do this ourselves. And so that's what we're going to do here. And let's see if I can get you a good look. Look at that beak right there. You can see it's a little bit too long. As you see right there. And so we're going to fix that, that issue. And to get it back to its appropriate length, you know, where the beak's a little bit long on the hook. And, uh, but the, uh, the inside, the lower mandible is, is just fine. And it's just nothing more than take it down a little bit and then reshape it to, to its, its hook at its point is what we're gonna do. And it's, like I said, it's a simple process. So, so you wanna get those feet. Okay, there you go. Okay, baby. There's our Get girl. Get tail safe. I got okay. a bad grip. There we go. Don't want to okay. damage her feathers. Now, let's your camera. Let's get this back over here, nice and close, where you can see what we're doing here on that poor, poor, pretty bell. And they, and they don't like this, and I certainly understand that. Get to Co Cody's toys out of the way. <laughs> toys everywhere. Okay, and and basically you basically we'll need to do two things, and that is a Dremel tool to, to grind it down to the appropriate length. And then a, a nice quality fingernail file to uh, get it to the to the proper shape. And so we'll go ahead and start on this. Now I just kind of hold the head, and you're going to see right here. We'll just kind of touch it. Just light, light touches until we get it down to about where we want it to be. Pretty close. There we go. And as you see, it really doesn't hurt her because we're not getting into into any blood. And you can, if you go too far, you can get into the blood a little bit. But now, even though it's about the right length right here that you can see, uh, it's flat. And so we need to cut a little curve into that right there, uh, kind of tapered in and taper the tip down. And we can use the Dremel for that very carefully. And the reason I like to use a drumble is it's fast. But you, you have to do it really, really gently. Okay. It's okay, sweetie. It's okay. And so now we're getting pretty close to where we want. Slide up a little closer to the camera. Mm -hmm. Let me turn, change sides with you. Just because You can sit if you want. No, you sit down. Basically, that was showing your 
hand more than the face. There you go. Now they can okay. see the face. And, I, and I'm sanding at, at an angle here so we get the point at the tip of the beak. And I just kind of slowly move it around, as you can see. And so we're getting that shape that we want. And a nice curve. It looks really a lot scarier than it really is to do this. But if you've got a, a really highly skilled, beautiful assistant like I have, <laughs> who's been doing this with me for 43 years, we can get this done really fast with, with minimal stress okay. on the bird. The skilled part <laughs> is all Martin, but uh, having the assistant get, have a good grip on the, the feet and the wings and body so it holds still without injuring the bird. You have to have somebody you can trust. Yeah. You really do? Yeah, Martin knows what he's doing as far as filing and grinding and hopefully a, a well-seasoned falconer can learn that too. Oh, there you go. Much, much better. Just a little more on the tip here. Come down just a little tiny bit more. And we are set. Okay. Nice up close look. Now, as you can see here, very, very different than what we had before. The, the beak is now much more appropriate in shape. Uh, they can feed a whole lot better. And uh, the hook is nice, nice and sharp, just the way it should be. It's not razor sharp or anything, but it can certainly tear flesh with that, the way the hook is designed. So we, we're done. Okay. That's all that it takes to, co to cope a bird's beak, to get them, uh, so if they're feeding properly, got her. Okay. And so there's our little Belle, and she survived another coping. Yes, she did. What a good girl you are. And the hood helps to reduce stress during all this. Yeah, she and that's that's one of the reasons we do the hoods, is because, you know, it keeps her eyes closed. It's a stress reliever. And as you can see right now, she's perfectly healthy, perfectly fine. She didn't have to look at me or Cody. No anesthesia of any kind. Uh, nice and quick. Uh, nice and cleanly cope the way it's supposed to be and so this will be good for another about six months we have to do this about twice a year on her and uh, and we also need to do the talons but her talons are in good shape just the way they are currently they're not too long uh, and they're nice and sharp so her, her talons are just fine we usually cope talons and beaks at the same time but uh, in this particular case just coping the beak is all that we needed to do so that is how you cope a bird's beak it doesn't matter if it's a uh, a hawk, an eagle, a falcon. It doesn't even matter if it's a, a, a parrot or a cockatiel or, or uh, a pigeon or, or whatever. The, the process is all the same on all birds. And you just have some that can hold the bird securely for you. And uh, like I said, we use the Dremel. That moves it quickly along. Be very careful. Don't go too deep uh, because you will uh, hit, hit blood and, and that'll hurt the bird. But if you do it the right way, then there's no risk to them, and, and uh, she's, <laughs> she's looking around saying, come on, let's get out of here. I'm ready to go. So thanks, guys. That's a little, little coping lesson, and we'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.